Vision-based 3D hand and object pose estimation neural networks have been leveraged in various HCI systems. However, many promising application scenarios are only proposed as conceptual proof of the system and are not feasible in large-scale, real-world deployments. One key reason is that it's difficult to collect custom hand and object datasets to train task-specific neural networks in different target environments. Some prior works adopt 2D and AR labeling interfaces, but cannot resolve the occlusion problem when users dynamically manipulate physical objects in midair. Meanwhile, researchers set multiple cameras and sensors to concurrently collect data. However, these cumbersome systems are difficult to implement for any given environment and end user. Other works use optimization algorithms to generate hand object labels, but require the objects be included in other benchmark datasets. We propose Arnotate an AR-based workflow that allows end-users to collect custom datasets of 3D hand object pose estimation. With Arnotate, a user first records the dataset labels by manipulating a virtual bounding box with bare hands while wearing an AR head-mounted device with hand tracking capability. The system then captures the user's first-person view as the dataset images when the user manipulates the physical object using the in situ AR animation of the previous interaction as spatial reference. After the backend post-processing, a custom dataset is created using Arnotate. Now we explain the workflow of Arnotate. The first step is to create a virtual bounding box of the target physical object. Instead of using a simple cuboid to represent the 3D bounding box, Arnotate enables a user to create a 3D bounding contour that extensively preserves the geometric features of the object in AR. The user first aligns the target object with the coordinate icon to set the primary orientation of the bounding contour. Then, the user can align multiple primitives with the corresponding parts of the object to build a bounding contour. Or the user can sketch complicated 3D curves of the object using the movements of the index finger while touching the object's surface to get haptic feedback. Now, the user starts the label recording process. Following the guidance provided by the system, the user grabs the bounding contour in a manner similar to grabbing the physical bottle. Arnotate provides various visual indicators to help the user record high-quality datasets. The user can toggle on a progressive indicator to tell how much data has been collected. The user can also toggle on the orientation indicator, which indicates what orientation of the object has not been recovered in the current collection session. Now the user starts to record dataset labels. Five green dots appear on the user's fingertips as gesture indicators to help the user keep the hand gesture unchanged when manipulating the virtual bounding contour. Meanwhile, parts of the orientation indicator are broken which means the corresponding perspectives of the object have been recorded. Arnotate keeps recording the 3D poses of both the bounding contour and the hand joint positions as the labels of the dataset and saves them as an interaction clip. Now the user starts the image recording step. Arnotate first smooths the interaction clip, then displays it as an AR animation with the same bounding contour and a virtual hand model. The user can adjust the replay speed as needed. The user grabs the physical bottle using the same gesture by aligning both the hand and object with the corresponding virtual counterparts. They then start to manipulate the bottle while following the interaction clip as it's being replayed. Arnotate captures the user's first person view as the dataset images. The user can repeat the same process with other preferred grabbing gestures and object poses until the progress indicator reaches 100%. To improve manipulation accuracy, Arnotate guides the user to either mainly move the object without much rotation, or only rotate the object following the prior work's suggestions. The user can also practice for a while before the image recording starts. Based on the findings of prior work, it's common that the user cannot perfectly follow a virtual animation in AR. So, after the user finishes the entire session, Arnotate starts the post-processing to further improve the spatial accuracy of every image label pair and generates the final dataset. We conducted a two-session user study to evaluate the quality of the dataset collected by Arnotate. In the first session, we calculated the spatial accuracy of the labels generated after all the post-processing steps. We used a leap motion controller and a webcam with a Euphoria image marker to provide the ground truths of the 3D hand and object poses. In the second session, Using the datasets collected by the users, we trained two networks for object and hand pose estimation respectively and investigated their performance. Here, we showcase some test results of the neural networks trained with the user collected datasets. Thank you for watching. Please refer to our paper for more details of the system design and user study results.